Hey everyone. And uh, we wanted hey, to yeah. like this slide. You should. Uh, <laughs> hey William, can can you hear me? You gotta uh, unmute. Uh, hey, yeah. Um, yeah. So we have uh, fourteen people on, which is great. Um, okay. And I don't think we have a ton of agenda. Um, I was just happy to give a quick update on the program uh, as to what's going on, and then um, I'm not sure if, if there's other areas you'd like to cover. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Yeah, I didn't so, see any other topics yeah. on the agenda, so. Um. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and give the update that we're up to 54 certified vendors, which is uh, pretty spectacular. So that's uh, 62 certified products, 22 platforms, and 40 distributions. And those numbers are 28 for 1.7, 45 for 1.8, 29 for 1.9. And we do not have any 1.10s uh, certified yet. But, um, you know, continue to find new companies coming out of the woodwork um, certifying, which is great. Folks seem to uh, be able to use Sonobui. They appreciate the latest release that has the uh, clear message at the end about whether you're passing all the tests or not. The essential processes are, are working out. I've made a few small updates to the FAQ to just address questions that people have asked. Um, I'm also very pleased to um, mention that uh, Amazon Web Services has certified in the last uh, week or so, which is essentially the last major vendor in the space that um, that hasn't, and so as they could promise to do before they went GA, they've gone ahead and done. So um, from my perspective, the, the working group is, is going well, and, and, and all those processes are, are underway. The kind of new areas that we're beginning to invest in is, is starting to try and improve some of the test development, but, um, and, and so we do have this investment going forward with Globin, but um, that hasn't resulted in pull requests yet, and of course, all those processes happen through SIG testing and SIG architecture, uh, not over here. So could I answer questions from anyone about the process um, or issues folks have run into or concerns or, or anything else? Uh, hi, Dan, this is Mitra here. Uh, this is me and Aisha over here as well. And I think some of the global vendors are also dialed in. As we have Great. Yes. Um, this is Mitra. I think we have a call to sync up tomorrow, and some of the vendors are also dialed in. Yes. Yeah, Hi, that's everyone. Cool. That's great. Cool. Do you want to just introduce yourself and mention the test you're working on right now? Sure. So uh, we've been uh, mostly uh, understanding the whole uh, project and how uh, the tests are built and how they are written down and going through all the concepts uh, with my young. And um, we have this spreadsheet that Mitra uh, socialized with us uh, from the different API uh, endpoints that uh, we should uh, tackle first. So uh, we've uh, divided uh, to begin with, uh, with Bayang. Bayang is going to uh, tackle a bunch of uh, namespaces, uh, endpoints, like section of it. And uh, I, will ta I will tackle another one. So our initial idea would be to pick and mimic uh, a good example that we went through together, uh, which was a flaky test that we just suggested taking a look uh, at the um, SIG network that was a flaky test. Um, on service uh, dot go, so uh, that actually helped us a lot to understand the uh, mechanics of how this works. So our step right now is to um, mimic what is there and uh, reproduce that on REST API, like very very basic REST API testing. Like if uh, the initial status is empty, then if I ask for namespaces, then I should get only the default ones. If I add one, uh, I should see that. If I delete it, then I should not see it anymore, and things like that. 
So uh, that should give us a lot of, of, clarity, of clarity first to uh, actually submit uh, PRs and go through a process and um, start from the things we know. Does that make sense? It does. That's very encouraging. So I, I look forward to hearing more uh, from Mithra and, and when we have the chance to catch up. But I, I'm glad that you're you're on the path here. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, it sounds great. Um, thanks for the introduction and, and nice to meet you all. Thank you. So is the, is the plan to use this meeting um, as kind of a regular check in then uh, for the work that you're that you're all doing? I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to. Uh, I am doing a weekly sync with them on uh, Friday mornings. Mm -hmm. But if they have something uh, exciting to share, I I've always like, I'm asking them to join the meeting so they can hear from all of us. And if they have like something to share or a question for the general group, I'll ask them to present it here. Okay, sounds good. Well, I'll pencil you in on the agenda then, um, kind of every, every two weeks. Yep, sounds good. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your help and um, are super thankful for uh, your disposition on this. Thank you so much. Great. 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 So William, what, what else would you be interested in um, covering? Because the other thing that I think we should, I believe we do have time set aside in Copenhagen as well, and we should figure out what we'd like to accomplish there, I believe. Yeah, definitely. So if we wanted any agenda bashing for that session, um, we, we could do that now. Um, yeah, one thing I would really like us to discuss in Copenhagen is kind of uh, a little bit more details on what uh, should be a confirmance test or how we are measuring coverage too. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some touch point level coverage measurements added uh, in test infra. Hippie Hacker has a really good proposal. So I would like us to maybe come together as a group to kind of discuss and figure out what we are going to do and our next steps for measuring that coverage. Sounds like a good plan. Um, Hippie Hacker, are you? So, so, oh, so uh, Mithra, I just need to speak up for Brian Grant here, who always interjects when someone says that, which is that uh, what is and isn't a conformance test is uh, very much under the direction of SIG architecture, not this working group. Um, and so I think it's totally fine for us to discuss it or, or talk about processes and such, but I, I just wanna be clear that we're not trying to take that on. Um, uh, but uh, I, I think in particular, looking at how we're measuring um, and whether there's better ways to measure uh, what's really in use and, and what should be done next and such. Uh, would be immensely valuable for us to to try and reach consensus on. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I've been uh, actually discussing with members in SIG architecture as well to do a little bit more deep dives into different topics mm -hmm. to see what should be in the realm of a confirmance test or not. Uh, hopefully by the time uh, KubeCon comes around, I'll have more to share uh, on my findings as well. Mithra, the other area and I don't quite know how to ask this question, but it was brought up at the in-person meeting in Austin, is I thought there was someone, and they might have been at Google, who had um, a little bit of a, a rocket science kind of experiment um, that they were hoping to get basic API coverage for a ton of the APIs. And I, I guess I presume that it was uh, working with the Swagger P open API work. Um, but that there were some aspirations as opposed to um, sort of slogging away at the in-depth tests. And so do, do you know what I'm referring to, or maybe William does, and have, has there been any progress on that front? I think I know what you're talking about, but um, I'm not aware of any particular progress on that. Yeah, I'm not aware of that either, uh, but I can touch base with you, William. Um, I have had a couple of initiatives from my team to help with confirmance. One is the a Docker and Docker based cube test solution that can be used to run confirmance tests. And uh, Quinton on my team is basically working on setting up a, a CI with those kinds of confirmance tests. And we want to see how, how good or how performant it is. He already has a non blocking CI set up. So I should have more data on that as well. And I'm going to try and ask the vendors to also write uh, a Docker and Docker based test uh, to see how comfortable they feel or how easy or harder it is. 
Um, there is also some efforts uh, with a couple of people going on around like a, a, a kind of like figuring out the best framework to use for a confirmance test. They will circulate a proposal at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to step on their work just now. And uh, Ben from my team has been also working with a lot of the cloud providers to be able to export their confirmance res test results to TestGrid. And uh, he has a working dashboard already and a proposal that was kind of circulated mm -hmm. in the six. And uh, I think one or two cloud providers data is already there as well. So I, I'd love to see a presentation on that in Copenhagen if you or he could do it. And then, I, I mean, also just sort of talking at, at a high level of what are the different possible approaches to, uh, to improving our, our test coverage in uh, the surface area that we do in a in a more efficient or more automated way, um, I think would all be would be fascinating areas. I, cool, I mean, yeah. I think the the fact ideal here, um, CNC members like like Google could fund a lot of this work. There's also potentially some funding available if we wanted to have contractors um, work on things. But e even just trying to understand the landscape uh, before we go to the next step, I think would be really helpful. Sounds good. Um, me and Aish here, we'll take up an AI to do a presentation for you. Great. Uh, yeah, for the for the working group. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, any other topics uh, to add now to the list for Copenhagen? We can we can of course um, build that over the next three weeks as well. Last time we talked about profiles, um, it, it seems like there's still not too much. There's no kind of like a driving need for that yet. So I guess we'll probably just table that for now. Uh, maybe just focus on the quality and, and the test coverage and, and bring that out. At some point we should talk about it because the, the consistency of storage across providers is a thing that people, you know, storage and networking and other aspects will eventually want to cover that. I don't know when. Obviously, the I think the conformance work alone will probably take a couple of cycles, several cycles, or not to get like good coverage. Um, <clears throat> so I don't think we need to add it to the agenda topic like right now. But it's worthwhile to start bantering about it just to get consensus. Not not right now, obviously. Okay, we're definitely yeah. I mean, we can definitely just talk about it and say that we still think it's needed at some point, and and yeah. Okay. All right, well, I, I guess the floor's open if anyone has any questions or other topics to add today. All right, um, well, we do have a meeting scheduled in two weeks, but then there's the Copenhagen in three weeks. So I would probably suggest we, we just meet in three weeks for Copenhagen. Does that sound good, everybody? That'll be great because uh, I'm traveling before that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And would you mind just emailing William the link to the, I'll, I'll do it, but the, the link to the working group meeting just so that everybody uh, knows it. Yes. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I did email that this morning. Uh, I mean, yeah, just recently, but we should do it again. Uh, I haven't caught up on my emails today. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get a good turnout there. Kim, are you going to be able to make it? Uh, at Copenhagen? Yeah, I'll be there. Awesome. Yeah, I just sent out a last minute call for agenda items this morning, so. Yeah. yeah, and I guess I would ask the question for this group. Um, I, I, I'm definitely open to moving this to a monthly call instead of twice a month, um, but we could decide that based on agendas going forward. Yeah, I mean, I think that was the original idea. Um, and we just thought we'd, we'd try it at two weeks just to see if we had enough topics. Um, definitely open open to that i mean uh I'm, I'm pleased to see how things are running right now just from the mechanics of it and i, I think we've been able to be pretty responsive for uh requests that have come in and such yeah all right
well, should we wrap up here and uh, reconvene in three weeks? Okay. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you so much. Have a good day today. Bye. Bye, everyone.